Abdurrahman, I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about global variables in functions, and basically we had seen that they are the ones which are declared outside all other functions and all other blocks. Today, we are starting up a new topic for a computer intermediary. So into that, we are starting up with what are the control structures. In that particular journey, we are going to discuss what is the definition of a control structure, what are the types of control structure, and how can we implement control structure. So let's start and see what is the definition of a control structure. So a control structure, these are concepts which control the flow of a program execution. So they control what we call up the flow of a program execution, basically. So here we are talking about the flow of program execution. And also, they consist of two main concepts. The concept of instruction statements and the concept of logical unit. So the concept of a logical unit, basically all the logical units have what you call an entry point and an exit point. And basically, uh, most of control structures are used for decision making. Are used mostly for decision making. So, uh, this one takes us to the types of control structures. And basically, here we have actually four types of control structures. Type number one, they are what we call the sequence. So that actually, basically, it is type number one, which is called up a sequence. Type number two, they are what we call selection. Type number three is what we call repetition. And the last type, number four, is what we call up a function call. In our last sessions, we discussed about the concept of a function. And basically, there were three uh, concepts. Declaration of a function, a definition of a function, and a function call. So here also, we are going to see as one of those particular types. So these basically are the four types of control structure, sequence, selection, repetition, and a function call. So what is a sequence? Basically a sequence, these are statements which are executed in a specific order. So these are statements which are executed in specific order. And uh, this, for example, I can say we should have a particular order. If I say int a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20, and, uh, and then here I can say int sum equals to a plus b and then I can say print sum. So this particular order from 1 to 3 is very important to know about the logic. When this order is reversed, 
we either get up an error or we get up a, a different uh, answer so what is selection selection basically this a statement which are selected based on a condition so this one they are statement which are selected based on a condition so they are based on a condition and for example if a is greater than b then print a so this is the condition we are talking about while repetition these are statements which are executed more than once so they are executed more than once and uh, for example uh, in this uh, in this particular order whereby sentences are executed more than one uh, let's take for example do a particular statement while condition so this particular statement will our statements will be done until this particular uh, condition is satisfied and the last one it is uh, actually whereby a block of statement are executed within main function and then they are returned back to the main so for example here if you have got a main method and then you have got uh, uh, maybe print a message and then we are calling up a method and then we are having up we are printing up another message so what will happen it is when the cast uh, when uh, the program uh, compiler reaches up here it's going to take you to another place whereby it's going to call a, co a, a block of statement which are written into a function and then returns back to finish up uh, everything so basically that will be the uh, the four types of control uh, structure or control statement so let's see how we can demonstrate the same uh, or implement the same into what you call uh, C++, uh, Dev C++. So onto that particular area, we are ac actually going to implement it by taking up a, uh, by taking up a, a function called add and see if that particular function called add, it can be recalled again since we have done the function call before. So let's see what happens of Dev C++. So here we are having up a, a function void add. So that is our function called void add. And uh, we are doing what you call declaration of a function. After declaring that particular function, actually let's uh, call that particular function. So before we call, let's say uh, print f. What do we want to print? Uh, maybe we we'll just want uh, uh, to print some messages. So here, say uh, maybe on that uh, I am calling a function. So that will be our first statement, calling up a function. And uh, the next question, actually, we are calling the function by its name. Just say add. So here, actually, we are calling up the function. And then after that, we are saying another print f. And here, maybe I just want to say the end of a the end of a function so basically we have got three statements and the third statement it the second statement is whereby we are calling up a group here we are calling up a function so the execution here will move on the execution will move on when it reach to line 7 it will move on 
to the function add definition to move on to function add definition and in this particular a function add definition basically here maybe we'll say int a equals to 30 b equals to 40 and uh, basically sum so here basically we'll say our sum equals to a plus b and then we are just printing up sum so here we are saying print sum so here by printing sum we are saying <coughs> the sum 